Coming up on Little Women Dallas. You are my girlfriend, and I want to treat you like a queen, because you deserve that. Don't make me blush. I thought it'd be really fun to start getting, like, stunt doubling. <laughs> I think you're ready to go jump off the roof. Hypothetically, I'll catch you. Kind of keeps comparing your situation with her situation. Imagine losing your kid versus losing a miscarriage. They're different. I lost my three-month-old son, and you lost a pregnancy that you didn't even want. I didn't say they were the same. Yes, you did. You said I lost the child. No, the mother. You didn't. Make it feel so good. What are you doing? Just hanging out with me. Coloring. <laughs> Inside the lines or outside the lines? I mean, it's a little scribbled, but you're getting it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm on my way to lunch. That sounds interesting. I'm meeting Rochelle for lunch. I need to talk to her about Kaylee. Kaylee keeps comparing her miscarriage to my situation. She said, happens to me losing a baby. Save the heart. She ain't talking about your situation. She ain't talking to you. She, they ain't got nothing to do with you. That situation is totally different. Say it to Emily. I really think... She and I need to be on the same page when it comes to Kaylee's, like, whole miscarriage situation. And, I mean, I feel like I take up for Kaylee a lot, and I defend her, and I protect her like she's my little sister. But at the same point, she's going too far. Like, it's not the same, and she yeah. needs to understand that because it does offend me. And I feel like it would offend anybody that lost an actual child. I think there's a lot of life lessons to learn especially when it comes to this stuff. Like, you take this stuff seriously. So just the fact that Rochelle even acknowledges that lets me know that she understands the difference. I don't know. I think you're for me and her by yourself, but... Rochelle and I didn't get along before, and she's actually filed a police report against me. But she and I definitely have the strongest personalities, and I think we need to team up to work out all this drama. If you don't hear from me in a little bit, you better call the cops and come get me. issues in the past. I mean, we had our brawl last year. I'm surprised she's actually here today. How have you been? I have been okay. So I went in to discuss Miss Kaylee, honey. I care about Kaylee. She has a soft spot in my heart. She always will. And I believe you care about Kaylee as well. She kind of looks to me for a lot of advice, but right now I feel like she's kind of off the rails. Yeah. Kaylee's been ridiculous lately, so I'm really glad to finally meet up with Rochelle. We need to figure out how to reel this girl back in. Kaylee keeps comparing your situation with her situation, and it's just completely not the same, and I really don't think she comprehends that part. Imagine losing your kid versus I, I losing a miscarriage. They're different. But she would never say that in front of you. My situation is way worse, but to have that same sentence, it was just really happened to you, and it, it was bad, and it was traumatic for you. I really feel like Kaylee wants some attention. And this is, this is the best way in her mind. What she doesn't realize is really making us look at you with disgust because you don't play with children. I feel like I tried to throw a little side comments like I definitely We know that goes, that goes way over her head, honey. Yeah. You have to come her straight forward and direct. Yeah, I'm going to. I do need to be direct with Kaylee and handle the situation. It's hard for me to have conversations about losing my son. So having this conversation with her, I'm hoping she takes it seriously. I really think we all need to get our frustrations and anger out, even me and you. I know a place where we can smash each other's faces without smashing each other's faces. A what? <laughs> right. So it's called like the anger room, so you just kind of beat up. I hope no one actually smashes the other one's face. Everybody will leave intact, so let me say that. All right, cool. I'm down. will be fully the same. <laughs> Hello, Hi. welcome to the food station. How's it going? Good. Uh, can I have a strawberry banana smoothie? How about you, ma'am? I'll do your nature's uh, detox. Oh, yay. This really is delicious, so yeah, I feel like much needed after last night. How's your face? I know. No, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah, she can't hit her. Last night was rough, to say the least. I went to the club to try and mend her feelings, and I got slapped in the face. Whoa! 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 Kaylee's mad about my friend. 
friendship with Chase, and she keeps bringing up her miscarriage. It's ridiculous. They are ancient history, and she flat out said she didn't want to be pregnant. But I don't get why she's still hung up, that's all. Like, that's me. I heard this is gonna be civil. Honey, none of them are class. Well, you're talking to the girls who are on stage shaking their ass. <laughs> true. Very true. Kaylee used to be my best friend. She used to be this cute, innocent, nerdy girl, but she totally lost her mind. Let go. I get it, you're going through a lot. But that's not how you act. But enough about Kaylee. What's going on with you? I have this awesome idea. Competing and all that's a lot of fun, but I can't yeah. compete all the time because it, like, it's so taxing on my body. Yeah. But I thought it'd be really fun to start doing like stunt doubling. Like <laughs> movies and stuff. What? <laughs> really? Like for like a superhero scene or something. Yeah. Like the person who like jumps off the building. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Do, like explosions. And... Well, who are you going to like stunt double for? Like how does that all work? And like where do you have to go? I'm still kind of looking into it. I was thinking for like kids, like instead of having like a child jump off the roof, like we'll do it. <laughs> Amanda's crazy. I've never heard of a little person doing stunt doubling. She doesn't even know what she's getting into, but she just dives right on in. You know me, I'm like such an adrenaline junkie. Yeah. yeah. She's like, okay, I'm jumping off this 24th building. <laughs> Quan and I have been dating for a few months, and he spoils me. Today, he's taking me on a gondola ride. Like, are you serious? This is so romantic. Any of your boyfriends ever did this for you before? No, I've never had anything like this. I mean, this is definitely new for me, so I give you points. You give me points? Yeah, I mean, I've never, I'm not used to it. Yeah. Not used to any of it. I want to know about your week. You know, me and Amanda have been getting into it, sort of saying, like, what happens. Like, that's the only thing that's on my mind. I keep that's, telling that's, you that. That's like, honestly, that right there is unacceptable. This whole Amanda situation is really upsetting, but it's not just her fault. Chase and I lost a baby together. It's not okay for him to start running around with my friends, and it's tough knowing that Daquan still talks to Chase. Like, I know you and Chase are friends. I just think that all the drama lately has been because of him, if you think about it. Yeah. But I feel like my life would have been so much better if I would have never have met him. Chase is a scumbag. I want him gone. I don't want him in my life anymore. For me, at least, do you think you could stop being friends with him because I am your girlfriend and I'm not okay with it anymore? I agree. And for you, I'd do that. I'm out. I'm done. If he disrespects you, I feel like it's disrespectful to me because at the end of the day, you are my girlfriend. So. Finally, a guy who puts his girl before some random bro. I've never had a guy respect me like this before, and it feels amazing. And I promise you that we're gonna work through anything, no matter what, because, you know, my mother taught me to be a man, and I wanna treat you like a queen, because you deserve that. Don't make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> This is precious cargo. I had my eggs extracted and we're moving them to a new fertility doctor. Doing the egg retrieval itself was a hard enough process. And now moving my eggs between IVF facilities is really stressful, especially when I don't know if Montel is for sure on board. At this point, Montel was like, I'll think about it, but at least my eggs will be sitting at the new doctor's. So if he makes a decision, yes, all he has to do is go like, make the donation. So you already have the babies and everything ready? Well, these aren't babies yet. These are eggs. I know that, but then when he does, he does it. Yeah, then they become embryos, which is in turn what turns into a baby. But you gotta have the birds and the bees. Why are the birds and the bees? I mean, the bees have a little thing on the butt, the stingers on the butt. I mean, okay, those little stingers are not little, so I don't really know. Thank you, Emily. Thank you for giving me that information. You're welcome. Well, at least we're about to be there, so my little eggies can arrive to their freezer. Destination complete. Bing. What type of do you have to have? Transport. Yeah, this is like really heavy. You have really heavy eggs. I don't think my eggs are heavy, that's rude. What's up? Hey, you guys. Hey, Michelle? Hey. What's up, no C? How you doing? Hey, Michelle. Hey. 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 Nice to meet you. Oh, Ty. Your name's Ty, too? You got a good name like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Ty. Nice to meet you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I'm a single mama with two kids, and for years I've been out of the dating scene. But mama had some needs, honey. I met Ty at a grocery store. So I'm gonna do this little double date thing. Kinda get out there slowly. I gotta bend my knees. This one's going far. And my date, Ty, he's fine, fine, fine. Oh! Oh! That's points. That's points right there. In the hole. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, did I mention he was fine? And there you go. Ooh, ooh, That's just a practice. practice. I like that. When Brichelle asked me to come hang out with her for a double date, I said, hell yeah. Brichelle and I have been hanging out lately, and she is a blast. <laughs> Score! Score! It's out there. Come on, baby. Get it in the big hole. Here we go. I got it, though. Let's go. <laughs> big hole for big men. Y'all gonna keep whacking. Y'all gonna do, do y'all whack balls. Y'all whack them. You heard her. Whack away. So I met with Emily the other day. We really had a good conversation. We talked a lot about Kaylee. She's kind of spiraling out of control. The incident that happened at the club, you know. Be honest, though. Do you think what Amanda said to Kaylee was a little insensitive? Maybe she should have worded it differently. Like, instead of, like, happens, maybe she should have just been, like, you know, like, happened. But I understand where Amanda's coming from because that's the way she talks. The point that she's getting out there is that in life, things do happen. Like, sometimes... I agree. I'm really trying to get us all back together, like, being friends and supporting each other. I want to invite everybody to this thing called an anger room. Just beat stuff. You, you beat the <laughs> hell out of stuff. And you basically get all your frustrations and anger out. I think it'll be fun for all of us and a way for us to get past some of our issues, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> but the only thing I worry about is I'm not sure if Amanda would want to go. Yeah, that's why I wanted to talk to you about kind of talking to her. I know the last time that I tried to get her to come out and didn't go right, because I'm best friends with Amanda, I'm always the one trying to get her to go places. But good news this time, I get to tell her she will be armed. What if instead of beating things up, people start beating each other up? <laughs> we just can't. There's laws beat against each other. Yeah. Well, that's why we have to do it legally. And that way, nobody gets hurt. Only us. And nobody goes to jail. There won't be police reports. I know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. We can laugh about that now. Cool. Woo! Oh. Uh. That's points. What you doing? Cleaning Ava's mess. What you do today? Uh, hang out with Bree. She and I took my eggs from the old doctor to the new doctor, and now they're kind of just waiting. Okay, what's next? Have you thought about what we talked about at the cafe? I'm still not ready. I mean, I don't feel like you were ready when I had JJ, but when he came, you made yourself prepared and like you were around for him. You don't have to be involved if you don't want to. I'm having this baby for myself and Ava. I don't need Lontel to raise a baby. I can do it on my own. And you think this will like make you feel better? I know it's not gonna fix me. No, it's not gonna fix the fact that JJ's gone, but I think it's gonna fill some emptiness in our lives and in our family. I get it. I feel like I'm supposed to have another son. Like I'm, I, I feel like I'm supposed to have a baby. I've been doing a lot of thinking and you know, what we've been through the past couple of years with JJ. I don't want to go through it again. I know this is important to you, so I think the best way to go about the situation is me be the donor and then have no ties. You know what that means, obviously. Yeah, like I have no like ties. I'm going to have the baby. But at the end of the day, I'm still not ready, so that's why I'm doing it like this. I know it was really hard for Lontel after he and I lost our son. I'm asking a lot from him, and I'm really grateful that he's doing this for me. If you don't want to be the baby's father, then I get it. But I'm glad you decided that you're going to do it. So. That's not a hug. It's a dog. County casting. Hi, I'm Casey you Ronnie. I'm really serious about pursuing the stunt work. And there's a lot of filming going on in Dallas right now. So the first step that I need to do is get an agent. Oh, oh are you Amanda? I am. Ronnie, Hi. stand still for a minute. Look at you. Give me your hand. <laughs> You're adorable. You're a Thank little you. mini-me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. I haven't been called mini-me in a while, but Ronnie seems super friendly, so I'm just going to brush it off and see how this meeting goes. Come on into my office. Okay. Have a seat here. Thank you. Okay. So, let's start with you. Okay. I currently am a fitness professional. I do personal training and whatnot and also do bodybuilding cool. competitions. Nice. And I okay. thought it'd be really cool to do stunt doubling. Okay. Let's go from there. So, you know, my concern is that stunts, it is a very dangerous industry to get involved in. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a little concerned because of your height. How many little people do you know in the stunt industry specifically? 
I don't. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of doing stunt work for children, like you know, superhero movies or oh. shows or anything like that. I do look like a five-year-old. <laughs> wow, I love that idea. With competitive bodybuilding, I kind of acquired the nickname Tiny Titan. Oh. Uh, mostly because I'm, <laughs> okay. I love proving to people, like, give me a challenge and I will show you that I can do it. Perfect. So before I can feel comfortable with sending you on any kind of auditions or castings, I would like to uh, introduce you to a family. Um, the Towries. They have done major film work okay. and major stunts. Sounds like a family I want to be friends with. <laughs> there you go. I'm a little disappointed that Ronnie isn't signing me right on the spot, but at the same time, I get it. She's right. I need that extra training, and I'm willing to put in the work. Next time Ronnie sees me, she's going to be signing her first LP client. Okay, perfect. Okay, Thank, you. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Right there, there's no flowers. Turn there. Smile. There you go, that's cute. <laughs> I'll take a picture, you go stand with her. It's springtime right now in Texas, so I decided to take Ava to the Blue Bonnet Fields to take pictures. I asked Kaylee to come along so we can talk. Hopefully the peaceful environment will help because the discussion could get heated. Okay, you wanna go up there and go take pictures of the flowers up there? Don't drop it. Okay. I guess while she's taking pictures, I guess I kind of wanted to talk to you about the other night. Not really like when you hit Amanda, but you know how like when you're outside, you try to compare your situation with what I've been through. I really don't think you understand the difference between the two. I've been through a miscarriage. I know what that is. My son and losing him, it's nowhere near comparable to a miscarriage. I'm what saying as through. like disrespecting, like she would never just like say anything disrespectful toward you. But or it's like different. you losing anybody, yet she has the courage to say it to me. And I just don't understand why. You did not want that pregnancy. No, I didn't. It's like, I don't know if you don't understand those types of experiences in life, but you shouldn't be bringing up me losing my son. Again, I was just saying it as in disrespectful. Like, say anything in front of you that it would be disrespectful. Because I lost won't. my son. But she won't, though. I'm so tired of everyone thinking that they can disrespect me. I had a miscarriage, and it was awful. I don't care what anyone else says. I still lost a child. I would never say it happens to anyone passing away. I'm not saying it's the same thing as JJ, but it's similar. You don't know what I've been through. You have no idea. What you've been through, and because I lost my kid, I lost my son, my three month old son who had a name, who I gave birth to, who I spent every single day of three months with. I lost him. He's a person and you lost a pregnancy that you didn't even want. And for you to speak on him is the most disrespectful in the entire world. I mean, yeah, I might have said, you know, said the wrong thing because I was mad at Amanda for saying such a terrible thing. But... But what, you were mad? That's the same excuse Amanda just used. No, I understand that. But, like someone telling somebody that happens is a totally different thing to me at least. I know what I went through and I know what happened, so... You clearly don't, like, comprehend the severity of what you've done. You're sitting here with a bitchy-ass attitude. I'm not trying to sound like a bitchy-ass attitude, but it's just... It's just what? I'm not being heartless. You're sitting here trying to make excuses. You're attacking me. You might me, not mean like it, am, but you sound like And I'm trying like to sound, like, say sorry, but you just keep attacking me. It's like... Because you don't understand. My son died. I didn't say they were the same. Yes, you did. You said I lost a child. No, the mother... You did it. Okay. Like, what do you want me to say? I can't say anything else. I'm done with this. Emily, stop walking. No, you got me up. I didn't say anything messed up. I would never Kaylee, say that towards you. Kaylee, don't walk up to me because I, I swear to God, I would deck you in your face. I've been opening up to Kaylee about my son's passing, and she's making it all about her. If I don't get the hell out of here, I'm going to do something that I regret. And Ava's here, so I really have to keep it together. I don't understand, but you keep attacking me, so how can I get attacked and apologize without <coughs> getting bothered by it? Just like you have emotions, I have emotions too. Emily. But I would never Ava. disrespect what you, what you think hey. I'm disrespecting you with right now. You attacking me on something that I went through huh? does hurt too, you know. Emily. I went through this. I'm done, but I'm in Nathan. I went through something I don't give a
around the pool. Okay, go. Hi, I'm Hi, Travis. I'm Bree. Nice to meet you. And this is Meek. Meek, how are you today? You ready to swim? Mommy! Yeah. Meek, you have to stay over here. Yeah. Now, he did have tubes in his ears, okay. but I'm just cautious about him, like, going under. Okay, stuff. we'll start him off going underwater. Just okay. Yeah. I want to go Why? He's going to get in, and yeah. he's going to hold you. You won't go under. When we were left, he wasn't just leaving me. He was leaving Malik and our whole family together. There's no time to dwell on how would have messed everything up. Now's the time to focus on Malik and myself and making us better. Come on. It'll be okay. <laughs> Meek, you just have to be careful walking around it. Come this way. No. Meek. And I seriously got my hands full. I It's okay. You can be all wet. Yeah. That's your bathing suit. Hello. I'm like literally kind of freaked out right now. I just met the Bugana Fields and I like met Kayla there. So like I cannot stand her. Well, I'm at uh, Meek's swim class right now. If you want to come by here, you can stay with the instructor and we can talk. All right, I just dropped off Anna, so I'll be there in a little bit. All right, bye. I haven't seen Emily this pissed off in a while. What the hell did Kaylee do? She's pissing off everyone these days. talk to you like for right now. I didn't mean to like interrupt his swim class. He's okay. He's over there with the teacher. But... What happened? I tried to talk to Kaylee about what she kept saying about how she's lost a kid and comparing it to JJ and she literally was rolling around. And I was like, you little bitch, like you're so insensitive. When I left, I literally texted her. I was like, you're dead to me. And I blocked her on all social media. I don't she has now, like she's different. Like everybody hates her guts. Kaylee's gonna end up completely alone. I can't be around her if she's gonna keep acting like this. I'm going through a lot right now, so I'm keeping my circle tight. And that doesn't include Kaylee anymore. I'm always here for you. Meek's always here for you. Yeah, always be here. Yes. Ooh, I showed up. Mommy! So bad. Okay, you need to walk, okay? Do you need help? You can you even see? <laughs> can you see? Okay. Are you, watch out! What, what is oh, oh, August style. Put your face in the water. Oh. Yay, me! I would be a horrible stunt woman. <laughs> so I'm taking my agent, Ronnie's advice. She told me to meet with the Towery family and go to their house and get some real stunt training. So I decided to take Asta with me for moral support. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Amanda. <laughs> Perfect. Are you good? Perfect. We actually haven't started yet, Asta, so it's cool. I'm going to be the one doing most of this today. <laughs> Perfect. That awesome. makes me feel a little bit better. Have you ever taught any other little people before? I have not. This will be my first time. Okay. What are we getting into today? We're going to have you uh, go through a couple of exercises today, getting ready uh, to fall. So I'll jump up. <sighs> so spreading out that weight, dispersing and leaning flat. Cool. First lesson is learning how to fall. We all know Oz is good at it, but I'm going to show her how to do it right. You can do it. Perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> this stunt stuff is fun. Super easy. And action. <laughs> Second lesson, punching. I'll call action and just be really grunty and acting like it. <laughs> you guys are just getting punched in the face. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta act like you're getting punched. <laughs> Acting, it's, it's a huge part of it. Laughing and kind of goofing around, yeah. it, it's, it's going to hinder, well, how are they going to act on set? It really sucks getting schooled, but he's right. I got to bring my A game. Otherwise, I'm never going to be the stunt woman I want to be. Woo! Yes! That was perfect! That was awesome. Lesson three, a kick to the gut with pulleys. I think I have a knack for this. Awesome! <laughs> that was yeah, that was like a... <laughs> I think you're ready to go jump off the roof. Holy crap. What did I get myself into? You can do it. You can do it. I'll catch you. Nervous now. I don't know why. Just, you're going to want to put your foot at the edge. And then with your lead foot, to take that step out. You'll say falling, just so that everyone else knows that you're coming down. Hypothetically, I'll catch you. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm choking right now. This is embarrassing. My heart's racing, my hands are sweaty, my stomach feels like it's gonna fall out my butt. 
I'll catch you. You can do it. You can do it. Ah. <laughs> so what, what helps me uh, with it is someone, someone else calling action. So what I'll do is I'll give you a three, two, one, action. And that's when you'll say falling, and you'll go ahead and do it. Okay? Okay. You ready? All right, let's do this. Camera's rolling, sound speed, and three, two, one, action. Falling. Yeah, yes. 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 That was awesome. Dude, that was perfect. Awesome. And you landed right Literally. in the middle where you're supposed to. Oh yeah, I did it. I knew I could. Let's do it again. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, of course. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Helping Red out with her stunt training was awesome. But the entire time, I was just avoiding the fact that I had to invite her to the anger room. Because I'm scared that she'll be like, are you crazy? How was your double date last night? It was fun. Yeah? Yeah, I really got to know. It's fun, like, hanging out with Rochelle. And, like, she brought her date, which is funny because his name is Ty. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, weird. It was me and Rochelle and our Ty together. <laughs> she invited all of us out to the anger room. Oh, like, all the girls? Or, like, you and Ty and... I think she means all of us because she really wants all of us to kind of get together and just smash things and get our aggression out knowing how all the girls act we're gonna end up smashing each other maybe this would be the perfect way for us to actually just get all the aggression out and just like <laughs> i mean i'm down i know we all have a lot of anger to get out yeah. but at the same time i want to protect my face i mean i don't think i'll provide pizza pans or anything anytime soon. <laughs> Hi, sister. Oh, what's up, baby sis? You know, here's Nola's here, too. Hi, puppy. How was Riley's birthday party? It was good. A lot of nine-year-old girl drama. Oh, God. Girl drama? I'm definitely dealing with drama right now. Why? What's going on? I found out Amanda was, well, is messing around with Chase. Amanda came over here, and she goes, you lose a baby or whatever it happens. But then I smacked her across the face during a performance. Yeah. But then I said to her, I dare you to say something like that to Emily about JJ. But me and Emily are no longer friends because she was like, you know, you keep comparing your miscarriage to me losing JJ. And she goes, it's not the same. Yeah. And she just kept calling me all these names. Like that part, it's like, when you think that you're close with somebody and then they can easily just like attack you. Like, and then how do you want me to say sorry? Like, I can't, I can't say sorry. Like, yeah. And now I'm like, she texted me, you're dead to me. All the girls are in like their clicks. And then it's just me. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It sucks. It's hard enough. You don't have your family down there. You don't want to be without any friends either. I wish you could come out here. I know. I can't, I can't take time off. This is so hard. I have a really good thing going with Daquan, but I need friends too. And there's nobody. I gotta go. All right. Love you. Bye. I've never felt so isolated and alone. And at least I have one friend. I have my Nola. Ha! Huh. I am my new laugh. That's flashy. Oh, Emily and I are at the anger room to get things set up before the other girls get here. We're gonna bust this stuff. How did you talk with Kylie go? Um, that didn't go good. She did not apologize, so she and I are not. Y'all not cool at all? Not at all. Oh, damn, Kylie. Well, look what I got. <laughs> we ferocious. Just oh for you, hun. I'm gonna put this bitch here. I call first dibs on Kaylee. I'm ready to throw down. <laughs> Sorry, Bree. <laughs> put her right here. Hey, ladies. Hey. hey. Well, look at that sticky wow. outfit. <laughs> Ow. Well, you guys need to put yours on now. Wow. I wasn't expecting to see Emily and Rochelle getting along all of a sudden. I thought Emily would have Kaylee's back, and I was worried about getting into it with both of them. Now, I don't really know what to think. Does anyone know where Kaylee is? <laughs> not here. I don't know where Kaylee is. I think Kaylee opted to not show up because she would have realized that it would not have been the object so I was smashing. It would have been Kaylee. I don't know how you feel about her. I opted to talk to her. I was like, all right. You keep saying you lost to Kaylee, but you need to stop saying that because I have lost my son. But in turn, Kaylee was trying to make it as if you were insulting my son. But her comments saying, like, you would never say that to Emily, and she wanted me to get bothered. But, but I don't think what she said. Yeah, yeah, like, that has nothing to do with it. You can't even talk to her anymore. Well, I think we all have some aggression to get out, so let's pick our weapons. <laughs>
take out all my frustration. I'm glad Kaylee didn't show. <laughs> Wipe that smirk off a little twerk's face. I printed out pictures of everybody, you know, so everybody can get their anger out. This is for punching my best friend in the face. But hell, everybody been out of Kaylee. This wasn't exactly the peaceful solution I had in mind. But Kaylee isn't making things any easy on herself by not showing up. It felt so good to get my aggression out, but it's gonna take way more than that for me to forgive Kaylee. Just like, BAM! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does everyone feel about Kaylee now? I think we got her anger out, but it still doesn't mean that Nothing. she's done anything to better the situation. <laughs> but she still feels like she's like up here. She, she wanna feel like that until she literally has no one to turn to. Duh. Good, how are you? That's the IVF clinic on the phone, and I know Lantel made his donation yesterday. I'm hoping everything went well. Brandon, has the, have the embryos been made yet, or still not yet? They're gonna be made this week. Okay, because I'm a little person and I've never had a baby naturally, my anatomy is a little bit different. So my doctor wants to plan a surgery so he knows exactly where to place the embryo. And it's really a big deal, because this is the first step I'm taking towards my IVF. That was the doctor, and they scheduled my surgery. What was that, a surgery about? I am doing IVF, and I was about to start crying because I have it scheduled for the 28th. The 28th is the day after what would have been my son's birthday. I just wasn't expecting to hear that date. It's a little bit weird to be doing a procedure the day after my son would have turned a year old. <sighs> they just scheduled the surgery, and like obviously they don't know, but it's like when she was like the 28th, it's like that's just kind of weird. Like the day after it's supposed to be his birthday. It's like really exciting because they're gender specifics, so they have to like see which ones of those are healthy little boys. So you won't know if it's a little person then? Nope. I don't want to know if it's big or little, I just want to know that it's a boy. I'm excited for you. Yeah, dude. Oh, so that's, 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 that's exciting news. Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm excited though. Wait, you have to come. They're like, make sure you bring someone. Dessert today. Are we all doing what? A group hug. A group hug. I mean, that's exciting. Yay. Yay. You're going to be a mommy again. Next time on Little Women Dallas. Do have to get everything waxed. I got my eyebrows waxed in Florida. It's not I just your eyebrows, though. It's like, you gotta wax them. Yeah, I never had that waxed before. Five, four, three, two. Ah! My mom was actually the one who was like, well, what about counseling? Oh, my God. So glad that you guys came. Okay, Austin, how do you feel about being here? I wouldn't take the time out of my day to come here and talk to you. Why? What? to come here into the whole group say no sorry for my actions lately sorry to you for smacking you i wasn't trying to ruin a friendship if you weren't trying to ruin a friendship you want to punch me blindsidedly from the back of the head that's not who i am i'm not trying that's to... what you did that's what you did, I, that's what what you did. did. don't I tell me that's not who you are when that's what you did oh